I, if, if I had more time, I think I'm, what, 10 minutes, guys? 10? Okay. 10 minutes, we'll say. Okay. Um, could this actually happen? Uh, I'll ask again today. Who here was totally wringing their hands, crossing their fingers with, when bath salts came out? Like, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Right? We're all those types of people because, hey, I've put time into this plan. I better see the end of the world before I die. Um, now, all right, so could it actually happen? There's always the possibility. Toxoplasma, it's a parasite that actually changes the way that rodents who are infected think, okay? It makes them go toward dangerous things, cats. So now there's actually studies to see if, you know, it could be affecting human behavior through things like schizophrenia and risk-taking behavior. So studies going on right now, kind of interesting. Prion, or prions, rather. Prions are little proteins. Mad cow disease is one. Uh, and basically, they just fuck up your brain. Um, rabies. Everybody knows rabies. You know, uh, rabies, uh, viruses are mutating all the time. They just found a strain of rabies in Africa that uh, has the same um, symptoms as Ebola. So it makes you bleed from everywhere. All right, so viruses mutate. Could rabies or another virus mutate to be more zombie-ish? Perhaps. Cross your fingers, folks. Um, and of course, bath salts or other chemicals. Um, yes, it's horrible. A guy had his face eaten, uh, or several people had f their faces eaten. Um, but yeah, uh, it, it, I'm not alone, right? Like, like you, when you saw it on the news, you're just kind of like, <gasps> <gasps> no, okay. I was alone, apparently. That hurts. Um, now, I, I, will say, I will say that, of course, um, zombie movies have obviously all happened in a universe where there are no zombie movies because they don't know how to deal with it. But pretty much everybody, at least in, in the industrialized world, knows how to dispatch of a zombie, right? Go for the head. So one person in the industrialized world knows how to dispatch a zombie. Go for the head, folks. Shit, I shouldn't have done that crotch shot. Now everybody thinks you dispatch cr uh, zombies with a crotch shot. No, go for the head, folks, okay? Clearly, clearly, I, I honestly don't think that it would ever get as bad unless it was some sort of pathogen that we didn't know about. And it was some sort of thing where we, we, we just, you know, we couldn't, we couldn't fight it. So uh, if it's Resident Evil, we're fucked because monsters. So <laughs> now things to keep an eye on, of course, the news, your own sense of complacency, your training, your health your loved ones, and of course, those around you, because you can't trust anyone. Because some asshole's gonna get bit and ruin all your plans. So, uh, I'd like to open it up to questions. Uh, we have a few minutes left, yes. Um, you can go to places like the Army, Navy, surplus store, uh, any, uh, Mech has a bunch of uh, supplies as well, and that's Mountain Equipment Co-op. Um, any really outdoorsy type store is gonna have what you need for a bug out bag. Uh, obviously, don't put 72 hours of water in there. Just put some water purif purification tablets in there. Uh, good question. World War Z. I'll let you come up after. Uh, yes. Yes. No, I know. It was great. It, well, it wasn't great. It was terrible. But... <laughs> Yes, there were several incidents in a row, and I know it's a 24-hour news cycle and things get hyped up, but uh, it was interesting to see guy gets face-eaten, guy pulls out his own intestines and eats them and then throws them at his roommate. Guy from, uh, guy from uh, what was it, Sons of Anarchy goes crazy, kills his landlord, jumps off his balcony. So anyway, uh, yeah, uh, you get a Michonne special from The Walking Dead. Um, you miss. Uh, you guys can fight over that at the end of the show. Um, yeah. Uh, 
Artillery. Now here's the interesting thing. Anything that explodes and doesn't actually like destroy the head, okay, you're still gonna have zombies milling about. Uh, in World War Z, actually, there's a great thing about it because like they're using all these pyrotechnics and everything. Oh, are you cutting me off? Was that what that was? Okay. Um, no, not you, them. Um, okay. Oh, they're messing with me. Awesome. Um, <laughs> So uh, basically, human weapons are meant to inspire fear, okay? Inspire fear uh, and injure people. Um, and that really, it's, it's a demoralizing force. Um, those weapons, I, honestly, you'd be better off just having a line of great marksmen and just pop, 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 just constantly hit, making headshots and ending the undead threat. That's my, my, my personal opinion. Uh, you get a copy of Walking Dead TPB number one. Uh, with the Adventure Time hat thing. Oh, sorry. Uh, the, I meant the kid right here. Would I recommend staying put or moving? Uh, it depends on your area, right? Depends on where you are, what you have available to you. Uh, you know, rural, if you're in a rural area, yeah, okay, great, you don't have to deal with as many zombies, but you may not have as many supplies in the area, right? So, I don't know. Uh, honestly, it, it all depends on your situation. I have a plan for both, depending on how stuff is going crazy. All right, uh, great question. Um, you get a little zombie survival kit. Uh, I'm just throwing them on this. Um, with the ears? Okay. Nukes, um, okay, you, you'll, you'll destroy a bunch of zombies at the epicenter, and then you get radioactive zombies. <laughs> so if, if they're surrounding your compound and they're radioactive, um, cancer. So like, I, I, it, honestly, I, I wouldn't want radioactive zombies just like I wouldn't use fire for zombies because then you have like walking fire starters so, until they finally just burn up. Um, Good question, though, Michonne Special. Uh, lab coat guy. Good question, actually. When considering firearms, am I looking at how lethal or um, availability of ammunition? Uh, obviously, a combination of the two. Now, you're looking for something like a machine gun, pretty lethal, right, for humans machine gun for zombies, not so much, right? Like, you, you, because you, you're trying to destroy the brain. Um, so that's why I choose a rifle. You can get lots of rifle ammunition in Canada, and they're pretty accurate from long distances. So that's why I would go with a rifle over anything else. Handguns, uh, they're not as, you know, they're not as common in Canada, uh, so you're not going to find as much ammunition, and they're not very accuracy. So. Remember, when you're thinking about lethality, okay, you're talking about lethality with zombies. So, uh, you get my last copy of Zombie Survival Guide. Uh, fuck you. Um, well, just a couple more questions. You in the red shirt? Yeah. What's a good number for a group? Uh, you're not going to want huge groups because then you're going to have power struggles, right? Like. Honestly, you, you, don't, and you don't want people there that you can't trust. So for me, I've honestly thought about it, and at most, I'd probably take five people. And I wouldn't take anybody who would buck my authority. I'm not saying I'm a dick about it, but it's my group, okay? <laughs> you know what I mean? So honestly, and I'm, ta I'm including myself. So five people, including myself, my wife, obviously, and my son. So I've got two other people who I, I would invite, but if they said no, then that would be it. Um, and awesome. So for you, World War Z. Um, anyway, uh, I, I've got to get off the stage. They're going to punch me. Um, please feel free to fight over these. Uh, I'm joking. You Yes, you may take Robert Pattison. Uh, and Bella or uh, whatever. Kristen Stewart, there we go. Um, She's available too. Did you want her? Okay, and that, that little girl there is getting her. Thank you very much, folks. This was awesome. Thank you.
there's a man going around taking names and he decides who to free and who to blame everybody won't be treated all the same there'll be a golden ladder reaching down when the man comes. <clears throat> i'll call 